Меня зовут Стегни Екатерина, я хореограф, но последние полгода продюсировала приезд Лали Аугада в Москву. Это идейный проект. Когда мы познакомились с Лали в Берлине на фестивале B12, мне показалось, что то, что она делает, обязательно должно прижиться в России. Тогда мне захотелось привести ее в Москву, и чтобы у танцовщиков в России тоже была такая возможность позаниматься у нее на классах и использовать эту информацию в своей дальнейшей работе. I'm Lali Aguade and I'm uh, from Spain and I'm a dancer and I've danced uh, 10 years in London, one year in Copenhagen and uh, now I'm based in Spain. Dance is a form of expression like theater or you know it's just a form of express something with your body that it's what it means and for me it's very important that you play a lot when you dance. I think, I think through life you get inspired by a lot of people. For instance, I started dancing because of Michael Jackson. <laughs> and, uh, and then you get inspired by people you work with, like uh, Akram, but then you detach from these people because I've been working with Akram eight years, for instance, and I got close to his actual moving, but then I also detached of him and, and then I discovered other people. And I think you are made out of a lot of different people. My workshop in Moscow. So here I'm trying to, I do a lot of improvisation because uh, me, as I said before, I like that people play when they dance. I play when they dance and they use the imagination. I like to use imagination to be able to move. So it's not about the hand goes here and the head goes here. It's just like you imagine things and you move through things that it doesn't exist. You make it in your mind. And I think that's very beautiful because it creates qualities in the body and you can change it. And I like people that is able to change body, actually. For instance, in my company, I work a lot in transformation, how a person can go from one thing to another and how a person appears one way and then you can transform very different in the end. I like to see dancers that they are able to move but also able to express in themselves, not only that they are good movers, that they are good uh, performers, so that they know how to stay and how to look and how to, how to do an amazing movement but how to also appear um, very interesting in, in the emotion or, or in the face. Or, so I teach also kind of theatre but not in a theatre way because I never did theatre. I think you are never a made dancer. I think you, in your life, you learn very different things and then you transform in a very different way. Like I think when I started dancing, I was a, dance, a kind of dancer. Now I'm very different. Or oh, I have a different kind of uh, mentality in my head. So I do dance differently as well. I hope I will never stop learning, actually. Even from theater, even from circus, they have very different mentality, very different way of interpreting. They do a lot of acting as well, a lot of physicality, but in a very different way. I think you learn from any artist, even painting or musicians, you learn from them. For me, being there, for me, understanding the intention. If, uh, for instance, in my work, there is a lot of intention. I was saying that lately I did this you and me that it was about a funeral and it's about having a feeling as well as physicality because we, they are movers so they do move all the time but if the intention is not there it's gone the performance doesn't work because everything you give it through intention so for me even intention in movement just abstract movement there is always a an intention what do you do with that and that's the main focus. What is your focus? What do you want to say or what do you want to do? What's your game? 
what helps me a lot is music a lot to listen music even very interesting to see musicians live and the way they also to to see not even musicians only but actors or normal people the way they move and then uh, movies a lot movies it helps me to create because they are like moving pictures and then of course books books as well when you read something it because in books what happen is that you imagine keep playing play all the time and if you are bored stop and then go again <laughs> because otherwise you can kill yourself then observe look other people how they move or even not moving how they talk keep curious all the time that you have all the time a new thing to think about and maybe it's one thing that it's still curious and then it's fine when one thing it's like okay now i'm not interested anymore Мне долгое время не совсем нравилось, что происходит в театре современного танца в России. И тогда я сказала себе, критикуешь, предлагай. Это было лет пять назад. Возможно, только сейчас у меня начинает получаться предлагать что-то действительно стоящее, что может быть полезным для развития современного танца в России. 